Okay. Today marks the end of what has been uh, a somewhat intensive uh, course for police dogs Frankie and Georgie. Uh, they have just completed a 10 week uh, course in the uh, drug detection uh, where they have learnt to locate numerous street drugs, illicit street drugs, in various environments to which they will be subjected to over the next uh, few months when they're operational. How successful are these um, dogs in detecting drugs? How um, important are they to your police officers? Our dogs are extremely important in relation to drug detection. Obviously their capabilities of locating uh, drug odours are significantly more uh, than obviously humans. And uh, we also have the ability not only to react to uh, taskings from operational police officers, but we can proactively go out and uh, search freight companies, etc. Can you tell us what kind of uh, training they go through? And um, yeah, look, the, the dogs are obviously initially trained with uh, scent association. They get to associate the odours uh, and get familiar with the odours. Uh, from then, once they recognise the odour, we obviously put them in environments where they um, will be uh, working in an operational environment so that they not only get used to, the, uh, to working in that environment, but they get reinforced with the odour in those particular environments. What kind of things will these two be doing? So, like you know, going to music festivals or going to companies? And yes, we um, with the with these dogs. As I say, they're both proactive and reactive. So uh, they will be uh, operational, supporting operational police out there on the streets. Uh, we will also be uh, operational in the um, in the rave parties, etc. Things like that. And also, we have that ability to be proactive and go out and search uh, freight companies, transport companies, uh, and uh, the likes of that. Um, do you know any statistics, I guess, on average, like how many drugs these dogs will, you know, detect in, in their lifetime, over a year, anything like that? It's very difficult to put a number on it. I guess uh, that's the beauty of dog handling. You just never know what's going to happen until you're actually out there with the dog. Uh, in saying that, uh, the dog that has just recently re retired, police dog Carly, retired yesterday. Uh, after six years, she uh, located in excess of $1.5 million in drugs and $400,000 in cash. Peter, have you been surprised by the dogs at any time on operation, just how quickly or how accurately they've uh, detected drugs? Uh, again, that's the beauty of this job. You just never know what the dogs are going to, uh, how the dogs are going to operate on the day, and what they will find. Uh, human beings tend to uh, tend to um, assume where things might be hidden, whereas our dogs will obviously, because they're trained on the odour, will respond accordingly, and uh, they never cease to amaze us when uh, with some of the finds they have. So heavily detect or heavily hidden drugs have been easily detected by these drugs in your experience? Very much so, and the dogs, uh, their noses are extremely uh, sensitive to the drug odours, and of course they are Labradors and they're fed uh, when they find drug odours, so anyone who knows Labradors obviously realise they'd eat their own body weight and food if they could. Uh, so their motivation to locate drug odour is obviously very, very high. Have you any re recall about any operation where you were on and you just found things sash in a very unusual place for these dogs? Oh look, we've found them in various areas, in uh, wall cavities, uh, obviously in um, uh, varying amounts of places built into uh, wall cavities itself. Uh, the dogs have indicated those sorts of places and uh, you know we've pulled away wall cavities etc and found them in there. And um, a room full of people they go straight to the person carrying them. I'm just trying to drive out some.